National Kaohsiung University of Science and Technology was established by the merger of three universities, National Kaohsiung Marine University, National Kaohsiung University of Applied Sciences, and National Kaohsiung First University of Science and Technology. There are five campuses, Qijing, Jiangong, Nanzhi First, and Yenchao. Strong connections with the industries, innovation and entrepreneurship, and ocean technology are the three major features of NKUST. We provide our students a rich and diversified learning environment, as well as a quality place for interdisciplinary learning. NKUST comprises 10 colleges, engineering, electrical engineering and computer science, management, finance and banking, foreign languages, humanity and social sciences, maritime, hydrosphere science, marine commerce, and the Business Intelligence School, which puts its emphasis on cloud technology. NKUST is a cradle of talent. It incorporates all the academic advantages of land, ocean, and airspace. It also cultivates top talent with interdisciplinary backgrounds and international mobility. National Kaohsiung University of Science and Technology is the biggest technological and vocational university in the country. We have more than 200,000 alumni and have been chosen as the enterprise's favorite technological university. NKUST aims to achieve the best, the brain of Kaohsiung, the engine of industry, the southbound base, an inclusive campus that unites people together. We have built the most outstanding campus in southern Taiwan for our students and teachers. We further undertake the responsibility to cultivate talent with wish ability for the country. They should receive whole person education, gain international mobility, commit to sustainable learning, and practice humanistic care. To put our best wish philosophy into practice, NKUST has gone through a series of revolutions concerning teaching, administration, and curriculum. We have not only reinforced our featured advantages, but also built a platform for industry academia cooperation, R&D, and internationalization to attract international talent, creating our global competitiveness. Qijin Campus has a favorable natural environment. It has an exclusive port that provides our students of the Departments of Shipping Technology and Marine Engineering a great venue for training. At this iconic port, our students can gain hands-on experience with the help of seamen. The port is our professional asset and feature. It represents a foundation for national marine education since it is next to Kaohsiung Harbor. From the perspective of marine talent cultivation for the nation, this port is of great importance. Besides, the harbor owns many advantages, which pave the way for close cooperation with the local marine industries. Industry academia cooperation helps to boost the featured development of the Taiwanese ocean industry. NKUST always values industry academia cooperation. Through cooperation, our university can instill all the top-notch research results in the industry. Meanwhile, through cooperation, our students can team up with the enterprises and work on pioneering research projects. Our students can do research and internships at the same time. Furthermore, the industry can send their personnel to us to host teaching sessions and bring the latest industrial trends to the campus. Therefore, industry academia cooperation is a win-win strategy. NKUST is located near the Nanju Export Processing Zone, so the Ministry of Economic Affairs specially appoints us as the university that is entitled to receive counseling from the Nanju Export Processing Zone. In our experiences over the years, we have created abundant results. Our students would go directly for internships. Moreover, many research results of our teachers go directly to the industry. A lot of companies would like to hire our students, even when they have not yet graduated. Kaohsiung plans to build the Chiaotou Science Park. The planned park will be next to NKUST. We will introduce relevant models to the Chiaotou Science Park. We have designed the Creativity and Innovation Program and the Innovation and Entrepreneurship Program. We hope these programs can help students from different departments to learn and work interdisciplinarily. Brainstorming can help them generate endless creative ideas. Moreover, we advise the participation of creativity competitions, seminars, and exhibitions, both domestically and overseas. Through creativity competitions and various incentive subsidies, we have received precious feedback and abundant results. The Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship connects the resources of industry, government, academia, R&I, and our dream factory. We assist teachers and students to further produce physical products. From the perspectives of commodification of research results and industrialization of creative ideas, we instill in students the traits of innovative entrepreneurs and motivate them to devote and share enthusiastically.
We take into consideration all aspects related to curriculum, teacher, and system when setting up plans and making arrangements. From the curriculum aspect, we hope to take each of our colleges and departments as a unit and design an interdisciplinary curriculum. From the teacher aspect, we push forward the professional teacher training program. The main goal is to enhance our teaching quality. From the system aspect, we loosen the restrictions on students' transfers between departments, double major, and minor study. We expect our students to be interdisciplinary talents. In addition to talent cultivation, NKUST also emphasizes holistic education. Therefore, the College of General Education is specially established to help students build the fundamental skills of mathematics, physics, and chemistry. The college also takes measures to improve the students' listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills in Chinese, English, and many other foreign languages, and further, equip them with international mobility. For general education, we design our core curriculum based on the features of NKUST and its principles of featured development. To streamline all our administrative services, we have established five divisions. Students can visit the first floor of the administration building on each campus and have most of their inquiries resolved on the spot. If it is not possible to be solved immediately, our staff will deliver the message to the head office. We will manage the task in no time and get back to our students. Art plays a significant role in the student's ability to create, or to say the methods to invent. In fact, a more important role of art is related to the free thinking or open imagination of the students. We have designed many art and craftsmanship related workshops that offer handmade experiences. These activities to create, invent, and do things by hand are consistent with the core concepts of a technological university. We have promoted our Overseas English Study Program for three years. We apply every year for the Study Overseas Program offered by the Ministry of Education. Approximately every year, we select 150 students to our sister universities as exchange students to participate in the dual degree system. The results prove that study abroad is an effective way to achieve internationalization. It is very beneficial for the students. Also, we send our students abroad for volunteer services every year. The volunteer services are pretty constructive in terms of fostering students' working attitude and career internationalization. NKUST has a strong mission to strive for excellence. We incorporate various principles, including conducting innovative teaching, reinforcing the curriculum in arts and humanities and general and liberal education, and developing students' international mobility. We take our strides toward an exemplary university for internationalized technological and vocational education. We expect to bring hope to imbue every single student with a set of deeply felt values of humanism and value co-creation. Okay, uh, that's a good video from the National Housing University of Science and Technology. Now, uh, please allow me to welcome the representative uh, of the National Kaohsiung University of Science and Technology to present the information of their universities. So uh, the time is yours. Uh, sorry, you may unmute your microphone first. speaker. Yes. No, we, we sorry, we can we cannot still hear you. You may unmute your microphone. Is that clear? Okay. 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 Hi everyone. Please. Good morning, everyone. My name is Susan Wu. I'm from National Gaucho University of Science and Technology. I'm also from the Office of International Affairs. Today, let me tell you more about National Gaucho University of Science and Technology. Okay, next. This is the outline of our my presentation today. Next. Okay, first, let me introduce Taiwan to you. And next. So you can see from this map, uh, 
as we can see from this map, that actually Indonesia and Taiwan is very close. And actually you can take about five to six hours to travel from Indonesia to Taiwan. And next. And let me tell you more about Kaohsiung. And this is also where the school, the NKUST is located. Okay, as you can see from this map, oh, sorry, uh, previous one, okay. So as you can see uh, from Taipei to Kaohsiung, uh, as we know that Taipei is the capital city of Taiwan, you can travel by high-speed railway for about 1.5 hours, and by bus will take about five hours. And next. Okay, let me talk more about NKUST. Okay, next. When it comes to NKUST, we have to know more about its history. As we can see, that NKAUAS and NKMU and NKFUST has made it into NKUST. Now let's move on to its timeline. Next one. As you can see, the National Kaohsiung Marine University was established in 1946, and National Kaohsiung University of Applied Science uh, was established in 1963, and the National Kaohsiung First University of Science and Technology was established in 1993. And all three universities have in combined into one is NK National Kaohsiung University of Science and Technology. And since we have, this is a merger, so we have five campuses. Next, including Tiangong campus. Next, first campus. Next, Yanchao campus. And next, Nanzhi campus. And next, Xijin campus. And next, let me talk more about the special features of National Kaohsiung University of Science and Technology. Actually, NKUSD was established in 2018, and we have five campuses, including nine colleges and 49 departments. And also, we have more than 400 sister schools, so, which means that actually we are very international universities. Oh, please, previous one. Okay, previous one. Okay, and we have more than uh, 28,000 students and more than 200,000 alumni. So, if you have any questions, we also have 3,200 faculty and staff are there for you. And next. Okay, and the special features of NKUSD is that we have a strong connection with industries, and we have innovation and entrepreneurship, and we also have a special ocean technology. And next. Okay, and when it comes to strong connection with industry, I have to tell you that NKUSD has Industry Academy Corporation are access for more than 50 years in fields of machinery, civil engineering, chemical and material engineering, mode engineering, electrical engineering, and electronic engineering. And next. Okay, and also we have innovation and entrepreneurship. NKUSD is the very first entrepreneurial university in Taiwan, and we are debuted as education base of innovation and maker in southern Taiwan by Ministry of Education. So, Taiwan, uh, NKUSD is the first and the best of entrepreneurial university in Taiwan. And next. Okay, when it comes to ocean technology, actually NKUST has exclusive o ocean expertise technology in Taiwan, and we are developing the ocean industries and nurturing the marine professions. And we are also associated with the development of Kaohsiung Harbor area to achieve a sustainable industrial chain. So if you are interested in ocean technology, the NKUST will be your best choice. And next, let me talk about the scholarship and expenses. When it comes to scholarship of international students, as you can see from this table, the number listed here are the approximate figure per year. So if you are a PhD student, you can apply for about $144,000 stipend, and you can apply for four years. And if you are applying for tuition and credit fee waiver, 
you can take more about, you can receive more about $130,000 per year, and you can receive for, and you can apply for four years. And also, if you are a master's student, you can apply for a stipend for about $72,000 per year, and you can apply for a one year. And for tuition and credit fee waiver, you can apply for $165,000 per year, and you can apply for two years. And if you are a undergraduate student, you can apply for $36,000 per for year for one year, and you can apply for four years in total. And for tuition and credit fee waiver, you can apply for more than $105,000 per year, and you also can apply for four years. Okay, next. Let me talk about the expenses for international students. Well, actually, the number listed here are the approximate figure per year. So as you can see, the tuition fee is ranges from $92,000 to $120,000. And the credit fee is about $3,120 per unit. And the dormitory accommodation ranges from $140,000. Range to twenty-seven thousand two hundred and eighty dollars, and the student insurance is really about ninety-three hundred eighty dollars. And next, next, okay. Let me talk about the degree programs. Okay, first one is the College of Engineering. The student who apply for the College of Engineering can learn from their excellent teachers. Those teachers are having outstanding teaching performance and research achievement. So students can also learn from their teachers and the departments in College of Engineering earned a good reputation in home and abroad. And also next, the College of Hydrosphere Science. As we can see from this, students can learn from College of Hydrosphere Science departments, including this college, this departments aim to cultivate students in related to aquatic science culture, and also the departments are providing marine biology research conservation, marine biology science, and marine biology. Uh, technology, and so on. So students who are interested in hydrosphere science and can apply for a KUSD. Next, next is the College of Foreign Languages. This department in this college aims to cultivate students into language professionals in business and industry. And also departments in this college have well and establish a well and systematic curriculum that can help enhance students' competitiveness in industry and in business sectors. So students who are interested in learning foreign languages can apply in for a KUSD. And next, next is the College of Marine Time. In College of Marine Time, the departments will develop students' professional, conscientious, agreeable abilities to emphasize it with an emphasis on shipping and logistic management. So students who are uh, who wants to learn more about marine time, they can apply for the College of Marine Time. And also next one, College of Marine Commerce. And departments in this college provide an abundance of courses related to marine affairs, business management, marine leisure management, supply chain management, and also shipping and transportation management. So students who are interested in these areas of uh, knowledge can apply for NKUSD. Okay, next. Next one is the business intelligence schools. In this college, this college uh, stays committed to fostering students from multiple civic domain with business intelligence equipped with the ability to extract and analysis data to enhance decision making and analytics. The next one. Okay, the next one is the College of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. This college and departments provide a hub of cutting-edge 
research in technology transfer, as well as effective training ground for students to uh, enhance their abilities and to learn and to undertake researches. And also, this college will keep providing the top quality education to students and also the best services to the community. And next. Next one is the College of Management. Okay, this department in this college well, wants to cultivate business management talents from theoretically and from practically. They want to train students to equip with the innovation and entrepreneurship capability. And also, students who are interested in this College of Management, they can apply for NKUSD. And also, in this College of Management, they also provide courses and professional training for students to understand more about risk management, logistic management, information management, finance, and banking as well. Okay, next one. Okay, in College of Humanities and Social Science, we have two departments. The first one is the Department of Human Resource Development, and the second one is the Department of Culture and Creative Industry. Okay, we can know that the Human Resource Development Department wants to cultivate human resource professional who can have abilities to accumulate, develop, and maintain a human capital and also innovate research and develop social and um, solve problems. And also in the culture and creative industry department, they want to help students to cultivate the concept of multicultural integration and understanding and develop their ability to stay creative and understand how to uh, storytelling and also to help them have more abilities to cultural design. And next. Okay, now let me talk about how can you apply for NKUSD. Actually, the spring intake has begun. On uh, September, has uh, the online application system has opened, and next October uh, 31st will be the deadline. So you have to apply for NKUSD as soon as possible. Okay, and uh, December on December we will announce the admission and scholarship result for you. And after that, we on um, in February, we will have school opening, uh, enrollment, and orientation. And next. So if you are interested in NKUSD, please apply now, as you can see in this link. And also, if you have any questions, please contact us. So uh, in the end, I would like to say that uh, welcome to NKUSD, and I can't wait to see you in NKUSD. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the good presentations from National Kaohsiung University of Science and Technology. Now, uh, 